Welcome to Red 35. It's Tech Tuesday. Yes. Woo -hoo. Hi there. My name is Jimmy Chang. And if you're new here, this series is all about tech things that helped you create not camera and lenses, that's Sunday's video. So today we are going to look at something I'm quite fond with lately, the Phone Slinger by Cozy Speed. Rewind selector. Rewind selector. Rewind selector. But first, let's have a look at the Phone Slinger for its intended market, mobile creatives. If you have been following me for a while, then you know that I shoot and film with my iPhones for a lot of my socials and vlogs. So it wouldn't be a surprise if I tell you that I have a lot of smartphone accessories, just like some I reviewed in this channel before, from rigs to gimbals to premium lenses, you name it. But this is the very first time I review a carrying solution made specifically for mobile creators. For those who may not understand this market or even know the existence of this market, I can tell you that there are lots of professionals out there purely using their smartphones to work. If you stand by our UK parliament building, for example, I guarantee you'll see some mobile journalists reporting live using just a mobile phone, a couple of lights and a mic on tripod. And this is a very common scene these days since smartphones capability and network speed has vastly improved over the last couple of years. With 5G around and starting to populate, you'll see even more mobile creatives popping like weeds growing in your lawn. And there are mobile wedding photographers and casual filmmakers. This is a growing market that slipped under the radar and no one really appreciates. So I guess the phone slinger is actually a niche product made for a niche market. However, having used it for about a month, I can tell you that it's a great, well thought out, and made little system. At first glance, the phone slinger does resemble their famous cam slinger. The pouch is made from the same D600 nylon with integrated PE plates and soft protective lining. It's built as tough as any camera bag that I've used before. The bell loop is very, and I mean very, very sturdy. And each of the panels is very well stitched together too, which is a good sign for great quality control. And the double locking belt system is very good. It holds the entire system around your waist and over your shoulder, even when it's fully loaded. All fastenings is using either the elastic band or magnet, which is a great touch too. So overall, I really can't fault the make of the system. But if I have to be really, really picky, I guess some of the zips feels a little light and cheap. As mentioned before, this is a modular system. Therefore, there are many different options for you to assemble your perfect setup. First one here is the Phone Slinger Prime, which is a pouch that holds a smartphone and up to four little lenses. To demonstrate the size of the pouch, here is my iPhone 11 Pro Max with a leather case. It can easily swallow it. And the lens pocket has a rather interesting design because it holds at 90 degree when open, so you can access your lenses very, very easily and safely. And there is even a soft padded lining to protect your little lenses when the compartment is closed. Second is my favorite, the Phone Slinger Power, which is essentially a phone pouch with a 10,000 million Qi compatible wireless power bank. I found this suits my needs most because I often need to charge my phone when I'm filming my vlogs. Having a wireless charging pouch is super handy when I'm moving from one location to the next and want to keep my phone topped up. How many times you see a wireless charging power bank has a pouch that will allow you to charge your phone securely without dropping? Not many. So this is definitely a first. And for that, I really like it. An added bonus is that the power bank also has a USB-A port so you can charge other devices if you need to such as my EM1 Mark III or any camera that can be charged via USB. Third is the flow belt. While the phone slinger can be attached to any belt or strap, the flow belt is made for these guys with integrated double secure belt loop that can be worn over the shoulder on the hip. The flow belt has two attachment points so you can hook both the phone slinger prime and the phone slinger power together. It's very secure because you will need both hands to install and uninstall each pouch. There's also a hidden pocket to store your ID and other important documents, while the built-in D-ring allows you to attach even more pouches 
an accessory should you need to. On top of the main units that I mentioned earlier, there is the stuff bag. Yeah, that's what it's called. Essentially a phone slinger without any dedicated smartphone features. So it's just a storage pouch for your belonging. But for its size, I find it quite handy because I use it to store all my batteries and the Tiny G Mini X mobile gimbal. And this little guy here, the bell pad, is a holder for an additional pocket if your flow belt is full or simply to use it to hold any of your pockets at a lower position if you want to wear a longer jacket in winter time. And finally, a RFID safe ST wallet for your money, credit cards, smart ID or passport, which I don't have but worth considering if you need to travel a lot and worry about your personal details being scanned by sneaky criminals. So I did say that you don't need to use smartphone for work to use the phone slinger. It's actually a handy sling just to store and charge a phone and carry your wallet and gummy bears close to you when you go out or travel. All thanks to the rather stylish fabric fringe and colors. If you want to look like a stylish hipster and not a nerdy pro, you can, as the name suggests, carry it like a trendy sling, which actually looks pretty cool. So my verdict on the Cozy Speed Phone Slinger? I love it. I would recommend it if you need a stylish sling to hold, charge your phone and wallet just to go out. And definitely yes, if you use your phone for work, film and blog. It's an expandable modular system that you can carry as little or as much as you want. And of course, Guten Tag from Germany. And that's it folks, I hope you liked today's tech and you know what to do. Thumb you if you liked the video and sub if you loved it. See you next time. Peace.